Well, um, what an awesome environment. I just can't even, um, it honestly brings tears to my eyes to just think about how important this game was just in terms of, of our fans and being able to come. And I think it's a complete, um, it's nothing but a lot of respect for both programs. And, you know, we have a lot of respect for you and I and what they've done, and they brought a great crowd too. And um, so for women's basketball, I think this was awesome. I mean, it was an awesome environment. It was fun to be a part of. And I haven't seen a stat sheet yet, so these guys are probably lucky that I don't, <laughs> I'm not talking about any of our, our stats. Um, thank you, John. <laughs> probably could just leave it that way. Um, but honestly, I thought, I thought our second half, I thought we did a really, really nice job. And I thought these two, uh, it was perfect for them just to shine. And I think they did tonight. And it was, um, I'm just, I'm really, really proud of how far we've come. And we're not done yet. So that's, I think, the best part, too, is we get another weekend at home, and then we get to head into the tournament. So really proud of everything, and um, good luck getting me to answer a question because <laughs> i got a lot to talk about. What was the change for you guys in the second half? It didn't happen right away. There was only about six minutes left in the second half, and that's when things started to kick in. And, you know, things seemed a little more clear. You see the court a little bit better. What did you see happen, you know, that last six minutes of the third quarter that really opened the game up you know, I think there's probably about two different things. Um, I think the first thing is I think that's really when our depth starts to kick in. So to be able to play everybody the minutes that we were able to play in the first half, I think helps us in that third quarter. I think the second piece uh, is we really started to, to run the floor better. Um, our tempo got going. Um, and you can credit you and I in the first half for a little bit of that. And I think part of that was also – um, I don't think we really got into a flow. You know, they really tried to keep people in the paint, um, but we're better when we can move in and out of the paint, and we didn't really do that. And so in the second half, I think we did a much better job. I mean, you got to see Caitlin in the full court today, and it was really fun, and, and Lizzie runs so well. And um, But it wasn't just those two either. It was our entire depth, and I think that's really um, where we've really grown as a team, and I think that was probably the difference in the game. As someone who's been there kind of from the beginning of this whole process, going back a few years, what, what was going through your mind that last couple of minutes there? I'm just really proud of our team. I'm just really happy. Um, it's a great moment for us. Uh, and like Jenny said, the best is yet to come, and I think that's the really exciting part. Um, but it's, it's great to see how far we've come, and it's a big accomplishment for us. So. Coach watching Caitlin, is there a pass she can't make? Well, the one that she made to the fourth <laughs> row, that was a really good one. <laughs> um, no, I, she, I, think she did a, I think she did a great job. I mean, I think the connection that these two have, I think, is also it's one that the defenses have to constantly watch. You know, they have to constantly pay attention to Lizzie. So when she runs the floor so well, um, there's times where Caitlin can sneak it in, and it's, a, it's, it's amazing. You know, I mean, it really is. And, and there's a lot of times where no one else saw it but her. And I think that's what's so impressive. And, you know, we, I mean, she's just a fun player. She's a high risk, high reward kind of a player, but there's a lot more reward in that than anything else. And I think with Lizzie being able to run the way that she does, and she just garners so much attention. And so it opens up other people. And when we can really get into that kind of flow, and, and they're both so selfless, they both just want to play and have fun playing. And, and when we're in that space, we're a hard team to defend. Coach, why, why do you think? So many people are embracing this team. And it seems like it maybe goes beyond winning and losing, but why? Why is you think this community embracing this team the way it has? Yeah, um, because I think you can't help but when you do come and watch this team, the, it's the consummate team. You know, there is no, they love each other. They care about each other. Um, there's no show other than, than completely authentic space. And, you know, there's going to be times where, we do fall down, and we've got to pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off and, and move forward. Um, but you can just tell that they really care about each other, and they just don't care who gets the credit. They don't care who's the headline. They don't care. Uh, they don't – and take this – not this is not what I mean, but they don't care about a championship. They love playing. They love playing, and the championship's going to find them. And that's why it's found us, because they don't, they don't seek anything. They don't search for anything. They really focus every day – on just bringing their best selves to get better and having fun. And so it's fun for them to play, it's fun to coach, and it's really fun for people to watch and embrace. You've got the, the regular season championship locked up, two more games. At home. Do you start thinking? I mean, it, it, it's starting to become a little bit more real, you know, possibility of going through the conference, uh, conference schedule perfect. 
Is that ever a thought? I mean, I know you guys go game by game. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, um, I mean, it's a thought because you want to win every game. Right. So you go at the beginning of the season, you say you want to be whatever, whatever and oh, you know, um, but I think more so than anything else, you know, we get a chance to be able to come back home again, having this great crowd again that gets to come back and see. And we get to play two quality opponents, too. I mean, you get to play Missouri State, who won the conference tournament last year, who's playing really well. And then you get to play Wichita State, who's a completely different style than us. So you get to play two more home games next weekend during the week of the girls state basketball tournament. I mean, I think. The timing isn't more perfect. And plus, if you haven't seen these guys or you want to see them again, like, you got to come, you know. And I think um, it, it'll be real when it becomes real. But right now, we're just in the moment. Does anybody know where the attendance tonight ranks in all-time women's crowds? It's a Drake record. Awesome. And how long has it been since the NAF Center's had 6456 for anything? Uh, 2001. Okay. Thank you. What's it like playing out there in front of that many people? You, I know you can't, you know, think of that number when you're on the court, but hearing that number and knowing that it was a pretty raucous crowd, uh, Lizzie, what's that like for you to play? Yeah, it's really exciting. It's really exciting to hear that number. And, you know, it was a really fun game and fun atmosphere, and they were loud. They brought the energy for us, you know. Um, right when we got rolling, you know, they helped us get through that and, you know, push, and they were really loud, really exciting, and, you know, Hopefully they come back and hopefully they had a fun time because, you know, that's what we want to do, show the fans a good game, and I think we did that tonight. And so hopefully, you know, we'll be having crowds like that more. You know, and I also think that, you know, our crowd don't, doesn't come to just buy their ticket and sit in their seat and watch a game. You know, our crowd participates in the game, and I think that's one of the things that makes it feel like, it, you know, it was 60-whatever hundred, you know, but it feels a lot bigger because people are so invested and get on their feet and they're cheering and they're so invested in this team. So I think that also is uh, makes our crowd really special. Not yet. Not yet. No, it has. It did when it did when we brought them out at the end of the game, and I think that was probably the first time where, you know, because as a coach, you, you really, yes, I knew that we had won the game by that point, but you don't really know that you've won the game by that point, point. Um, and so when we were able to bring them out, it was it was really special to be able to do, um, and um, because they've come a long way, and it's um, it's been a really cool vision that. That our, that our players and their parents and their families and their support systems have turned into a reality.